Hi everyone, and welcome to this video. In this video, I'm working on a drawing of Sonic the Hedgehog, and I realised when thinking about this project, I hadn't worked on a drawing of Sonic before, which seems really weird considering Sonic was such a huge, prominent gaming character in my childhood. Uh, we used to have a Sega Mega Drive in our family. It was passed down through my cousins, and eventually it was my turn to own the console, and I remember spending so many hours playing Sonic the Hedgehog, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, um, Sonic and Knuckles, I think, we spent some time on that, and um, I, there was co-op, so I would play as, as Sonic sometimes, or play as Tails, and we'd sort of take turns playing as the characters, and um, then there was also a couple of years later, there was the Dreamcast, my cousin owned the Dreamcast, and he got Sonic Adventure, and that was really fun as well. We spent so many hours on that. Uh, so just remembering all these fond memories, it made me realise that I'd never drawn Sonic before, which now seems crazy. And that's why with the film coming out, I was really excited to attempt this. For this drawing, I'm using Strathmore Toned Tan Mixed Media Paper. And as you can see, once I finished the sketch, it was then time for the colouring. Um, and I decided to use Copic markers and some Faber-Castell Polychromos pencils. I recently got a set and they've been working really well with the markers. So for the eyes, for the white areas, I began by adding shading with a warm grey pencil. And then I blended over the top of that with a white pencil. Then for the green colouring, I was using forest green, emerald green and yellowish green markers. Then, on top of that, to add detailing to the irises, I used dark phthalo green, emerald green, and light green pencils. I also added black with the black marker, and then blended that with the cool grey markers, but I didn't want to add too much grey to take away from the bright green colouring I'd added, and then I added bright highlights with a white Sakura Jelly Roll pen. For his nose, I used the black and cool grey markers again, and added highlights with the white pencil and pen. Uh, then for the pink colouring on Sonic's eyelids and his mouth, I used a pure pink marker. And then for the fur around Sonic's mouth, I started with a couple of base layers of powder pink, building up the layers and adding shading with this marker first. Then I added the fur details with the white pencil. And then I added more layers of markers on top of that, this time using cool greys. And I continued to build up more layers with the markers and the pencils, uh, using the white pencil along with a warm grey pencil, uh, also adding additional brighter colouring with a fruit pink marker. And I, I actually outlined a few details to help them stand out using a Copic Multiliner SP 0.03 and a 0.1. And for any brighter highlights in this drawing, I was always using a white jelly roll pen. For the blue colouring of Sonic's fur, I used a similar technique to the fur I added around his mouth, except this time I used sky blue, royal blue, and ultramarine markers. So adding the base layer with the markers first, then I added the fur details with the white pencil, then I added more markers on top, building up those layers with the markers and pencils. Then for each section, I rendered a few smaller details with the phthalo blue and reddish blue pencils, and sharpened some outlines on areas like the spines with the multiliners. Oh, and inside the ear, um, I added a bit of pure pink on top of that dark shading.
For his gloves, I began by adding cool grey shading first. Then I added white pencil and white pen details on top of that, trying to add a fluffy texture to them. Then I also added some blue hints on top of that afterwards with uh, ice blue and pale blue grey markers. To colour the ring, I added pencil details first, using walnut brown and raw umber. Then I added bright yellow colouring on top, using acid yellow and buttercup yellow markers, and added bright highlights with the white pen and pencil. I added a background within the ring, and for the sky, I started with ice blue, blending down with pale blue grey, and eventually adding buttercup yellow at the bottom. And then for the clouds, I used hydrangea blue, fading down to pale blue grey. Then I added bright colouring to the clouds with rose carmine, and dark chrome yellow, and cream pencils. I added a comic panel in the background, with Sonic and the ring overlapping it. And I was actually going to leave it like that, but in the official movie posters they added this really cool blue glowing effect. So I decided to try that out for myself, and uh, so starting with the black marker around the outer edges, and then I blended inwards with the ultramarine marker. And then I just continued to add some finishing touches, cleaning up some of the outlines, and after that this drawing was completed. And it was so much fun, I loved working on this project, because Sonic is such an iconic gaming character from my childhood. And uh, I'm, I'm really glad to see the new film being released, and so I wanted to put extra time and effort into this drawing. And overall, it took about 11 hours to complete. So please be sure to let me know what you think of this drawing, and also let me know if you have any suggestions for future drawings I should try. Um, if you want to see more art videos like this, then feel free to subscribe to my channel, and any thumbs up or shares on this video are hugely appreciated by me. If you want to follow and support my progress, then be sure to check out the links in the description for my Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and Patreon. And once again, thank you so much for watching, and thank you so much for the support, I really appreciate it, and I hope you have an amazing day, and I'll see you all soon.